were testing out this, the Zeus, the Zeus, the this. Okay, so this apparently has two purposes. One, it supercharges anything, including smartphones, and it's also a car locator, and that's fun. So, plug it in. Okay, so you just download the Zeus app, apparently. I haven't used this, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Ooh. Okay, plug in. As you can see, the lights are on and they are flashing on the device. So now you click continue. Turn on Bluetooth. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Success. So now it's all set up. That was super simple. I suppose we just drive out somewhere and leave it and walk away and see if this will get back to us. So we're gonna take a little drive onto the island not far from here, park this up and just walk to the other end of the island and see if this will pick up the location and we're just gonna see what it does. I don't, I don't know what it's gonna be like, but if it works, then cool. But we don't have a massive parking lot, car park near us here, cause you know, we're kind of in the country. A random island underneath the bridge will have to do for this experiment. Okay, so my phone just beeped at me. Okay, so my phone just beeped to me and it's asked if I want to set a parking timer and then my location has been saved. All right, we'll leave her there. And let's go for a little walk, shall we? Okay, so we found some woods, kind of. So, Ali. Yes. I want you to close your eyes <laughs> and spin around five times. Spin. <laughs> now where's the car? Um, Which direction is the car? Oh my god, I've lost it. I've lost what we're gonna do. I know. <gasps> that was quick. 440 meters that way. Nine minutes ago we parked up, apparently. Turn left. Well, that's pretty accurate. Alright, come on. It's pretty shit because it tells you to walk through a tree. Yes, you need to upgrade the app on that. Yes. Okay, yeah. so I want to test if you... Because GPS drains your battery, so if you're going to a shopping centre and you plan on spending all day in there, because trust me, I can do that. Um, I'm going to turn GPS off and then give it a few seconds and then go back onto it what it'll say will it lose the location will it clear from memory i don't know it's spinning and it still works just fine it'll come back up direct you back to your car so you don't have to leave your gps on you do not need data that is good let's continue 310 meters a lot away this little device is not only used for a car finder like a locator but also a charger obviously and i'll just give you a bit more of a close-up it's got two USB ports which light up which helps in a dark car. Now uh, we actually put a smartphone and an iPod on charge the other day. We have this contraption. It's called a Zeus or a Zeus. A Zeus. Apparently it charges stuff like twice as fast as normal USB chargers. We were stopping us down the car a lot and going here, there and everywhere, like pulling over for like 20 minutes, pulling over for an hour. But in total, we were probably driving and they were probably on charge for about three hours. The iPod got charged straight full because it's an iPod. They don't take long to charge. So I don't know when that finished charging, but they charge super quick. The smartphone, however, from almost dead or probably I think it was dead, after three hours, just got over halfway. Now they do claim on their website that it can charge two iPhone 6s in two hours. We tried to charge one iPod and Scott's phone isn't even a Samsung Galaxy S range. It's a J range, which is a lot smaller spec, a less powerful phone. And yeah, we were in the car for around three hours. It didn't fully charge it, um, which was a shame. But let's get to price, shall we? They retail totally US dollars for $49.99 uh, and they are on sale now I think, I'm just on their website, I'm in the Luxie, for $29.99. If you're prone to losing your car, go for it. The GPS locator works perfect and the fact that you can, on the app, you use it to set a timer for your parking, just so you know, in case you're one of those who like to go out shopping and then absolutely forget about their parking meter, this is the one for you. Great for that. Um, 
The charging, it just charges. That's what we saw, what we witnessed. Nothing was super quick for us. Um, I don't know why everyone seems to find quick charging with it. Disclaimer, I was given this for free. I'm not being paid to do a video on this. They asked me if I wanted to try it out on a road trip and tell them what I thought. Yes, absolutely, here's what I think. If you click the link down below to have a look at it and you buy one for any reason, then I'm not gonna get any money. Just that disclaimer out there. I just thought it'd be really fun to test out and have a look to see if it's worth it. Would I pay 50 bucks? No. Would I pay 30 bucks? No. That's me being completely honest. I understand that it's a higher quality charger for your car and the fact that it comes with an app that does some cool little features on it. Totally get it. Now, this might be for you, but it's just not for me. If you're prone to losing your car and things like that, this is for you. In big car lots like in America and stuff, then go for it. For me, I'd prefer to go to the dollar store and just buy the cheap one. It does what I'd need to do, which is charge my phone whilst I'm in the car. However, this might be for you. Have you ever tried one? Have you ever used one of these? I'll link all the details for this down below um, and where you can go and check it out for yourself. Thank you so much for sending me this product. I love fun filming that, especially when Scott got me to spin around and then try and find the car. It's actually amazing accuracy on how it finds the car. It really is. Brilliant accuracy. I wish we had a massive car park here that was full of cars as Scott could go and park it and then I'd have to go and find it. That would have been a very cool challenge and I can guarantee that would have worked. We don't because we're in the middle of the mountains. So there you go. We haven't done a traveled and tested in a while. That was my first impressions. That was my first go at it. Let me know what you think down below. Don't forget you can subscribe. Keep up to date with all my trials and get some advice as well. There's also Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that circle travel links are down there and I will see you tomorrow. We're on the road again. Having just a chill day today catching up on work. Oh, good. <gasps> Love you.